Hey everybody, welcome back to the Baldur's Gate. Let's play with the Space Face. Um, picking up exactly where we left off from last time. So Storm we're just going to carry on clearing Storm. out this map before we um, head back to town, uh, sell all these wolf pelts, um, resupply, refresh, and then head on to deal with the bandits in the north. So let's just press on and, uh, and finish this map out. Yeah, can't cross there. So I think I was talking last time a little bit about um, overall goals with this uh, this let's play, and um, one of the things that I want to do is finish out all of the Tales of the Sword Coast content. But then I also want to go ahead and carry this um, this character forwards into. Um, Baldur's Gate 2, and I'm also quite interested in playing through the new expansion that just recently came out. Oh, I um, heart's really not in. Bean Dog developed uh, <laughs> Siege of D, Siege of Dragon Spear or something. Sendai, hey, travelers, you trespass quite deeply into army and territory. Uh, it's quite funny the stupid notions you northern barbarians get stuck into your heads. Yeah, screw these guys. Attack. What now, I wonder? So, we will drop a sleep spell. Just has you wait. no effect at all, so we'll try dropping it again. Yes. Um, but we'll also place a command on Nature them. Servant and awaits. Doom the melee. Yes. Coming, wait. So that's good that we got rid of it. What now, I wonder? And actually, see if we can come off the other one. Power. So that would be very useful. That guy got up when we commanded that one. So either it's very yes, short duration, or, or uh, <laughs> you can only have one person come over at a time. It's a cool one. It's a really short duration. Um, and what we'll do this time is, before we get into combat, we'll buff up. Um, just before we trigger the event, we will buff up. Um, and in fact, I think we'll rest to make sure that all of our spells are available. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Where exactly was that? Um, was Sendai? Was it up here somewhere? I think he was actually up there, wasn't he? Yeah, there they are, there they are. Okay. Right, so, we're going to quick save. Um, cool. and then now I wonder. Let's cast invisibility on 
Viconia? No, Andrew here. Let's start buffing so we want the charm. Nature yeah. servant awaits. Oh, and I don't know. Let's yes. Brought her out of invisibility. Don. Never mind. Dawn. Draw steel. Okay. So we want to go and tie up the oh, melee guy, which is this one. But actually, what we want to do is focus on the archers. So we'll see Minsk off on a mission by himself, um, and we'll send Kalido to deal with the other you? archer while we take out the one on the left. You've got something coming. Ending your life where you stand. Night Saint Nick. Save me from the Spider Queen's vengeance. There we are. So heal yourself. She got real low. I'll do my best. Uh, Khalid can come in now and start helping us. Like yes, there we go, that's a lot like easier. Yes. Um, and we'll drop the magic missile as well. <laughs> nice, we're up to three projectiles now. That's a lot easier. Simple task. So, a little bit of tactics well, of course, goes a long way. Like, they're not exactly revolutionary to tie up the archer. Makes all the difference. Okay, so the arrows plus one can go to Imwin. Studded leather armor. So we've taken. Wait, we did take. So studded leather. Uh, AC five. So it's plus two studded leather, which is nice. So we can chuck that over to Imwin. That'll give her a nice AC bonus. Meanwhile, we should probably. What's that? AC plus four versus crushing. Um, we'll put that on Minsk because he seems to be our main frontline tank guy. Let's put, well, I forgot that I gave my guy the identify spell, so we'll kind of go through all of this now. That's a plus one. That's a plus two. So a halberd plus two. Um, it's very, uh, very nice indeed. Uh, that looks like a. to hit armor class 2 with ranged weapons. That's really good, because we can stick them on him and win immediately. <coughs> uh, we'll just drop that on the floor, we don't need it. Uh, we've got 51 arrows there. So anything else that needs identifying? I don't think so. Yeah, we're good, right. So that's just a plus one longsword. Longswords go to Khalid. Kind of tempted to see. Oh, no, his damage would actually go down. So, what's his to hit? It's 15, 18. If we equipped that, it would be 15, and he does 7 to 16 damage. Uh, right, he does 6 to 7 and 8 to 13. Eight to 13, 8 to 13, really? I don't understand what, what's happening with this damage. 15, 18, 14, 19. Yeah, I think it's better to have it that way around. 8 to 13 on each. Yeah, that's a shame. Um, I'd quite like to him to be a, a badass two-handed dude, but he's kind of not. That's such a dexterity to 18, so real good. Um, oops. That just gives him AC of minus three. That's so, so good. Makes Minsk a bit of a blender. Yeah, done and done. Cool. Now, what, now even with all that identifying, I've still got. Um, oh, Riffy, this is that doggy. The drop. Sir? So, chuck a heal on yourself. Heal her as well. Okay. 
So is there anything else to answer? So, as I was saying again, I keep getting interrupted when I'm talking about this. <coughs> so one of the things that I would like to do is play through the new um, new expansion that just recently came out. Um, I think it would be quite interesting to play through Hellscape 1, Hellscape 1 expansion, Go and Hellscape 2. Go the eyes! this character, like, taken from level 1 sorcerer, who was, <laughs> who in the first episode got one shot by <laughs> the very first enemy that you encounter um, into uh, like a level 20 all-powerful sorcerer. Um, Stomping through. Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Yeah, swirling dragons. For the fallen! For the fallen! Anything else around here? So there has... There have been a couple of things on this map, actually. It's, um, I was like, oh, there's nothing on this map, but there was that boy. And the quest with the, the boy and his dog, which we just... Ditched. And steel on steel. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? And I might actually need to look up a way of of lowering your reputation. I mean, we could probably kill someone, but I, I don't know if that's um, if that would drop us too low. Although our reputation is really high, is our eighteen? So I don't know what killing someone does to your reputation. So the problem that I have with games of this kind of system is usually um, dialogue options wise you get a couple of choices. Um, you get the obviously good choice and you get the obviously bad choice. Um, and they do try and be a little bit neutral with like, you can demand payment. So there's like, uh, yes we'll help you, um, option Go B for the eyes, is no, Go we will for Option C is, yeah, we'll help you, but where's our payment? Of course we you. Um, and the problem that I have with these games is that almost exclusively doing that... Um, I don't know why this bear is determined to get to me. Yes. So... The options we demand payment or straight up kill the person instead of doing the good thing almost exclusively give you less experience. So it's not just that it's a, a worse option, uh, it's usually a much worse option. Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Gemini sky suckers! Hi. Hi, right, Larry. It's Daron Daryl. <laughs> Why would a Zvart, a Kobold, and a Tazlo be wandering around calling themselves Larry Daron See, I told you these guys were the wrong generation. What now? I want a simple task. Sorry. Easter egg there. Um, not getting the reference. But I'm sure if you do get the reference, it's very funny. Skeletons. Oh, I thought I killed him. For sure. There we go. Uh, and that looks like that is the end of the map. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> almost the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, Good on so you I've identified day. everything, haven't I? actually identified everything in my inventory so we do need to sell those wolf cloak capes capes wolf done pelts and done. so we do need to go back to Nashkel done and done so let's head on up here oh nuba hey yeah maybe if we oh, god damn it oh, actually hey yeah I wonder, I wonder if we can attack him. Hey, For the fallen! For sure!
We didn't lose any yeah, rotation. Of course. <laughs> yeah. That's disappointing. I thought for sure killing Nuba would give us some reputation loss. Well, while we've got the the bad game. Go for the ice pool. Go! Yes. Oh, there we go. So you lose nine reputations. It's not bad, you know, we still have a pretty good reputation. But hey, yeah. we should reload. Yeah, so let's see if we can just walk away from Nuba. Hey, yeah. I was kind of hoping that we'd get like a... Let's stay here and play through this. Hey, yeah. He does eventually stop talking to you. Um... Hey, yeah. Actually... Let's oh, I not really not in this. There we go. Because um, I don't want to risk gaining reputation. So, nine reputation loss is not terrible for murdering someone in the streets, you know? <laughs> I would have thought it would be higher than that. I'm surprised it's not a straight ten, but... If we did need to drop some... Um, some alignment. It looks like we could do that. Oh, actually, we could possibly um, steal something. Because you have the, the option to steal in shops, don't you? So, let's head in Dog here. And we want to get rid of these wolf pelts. No, that's the main reason we're here. Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron short, the customer is always yeah, right. My prices are the yeah, business has been the customer is all my prices are the best yeah, business has been it's the customer is all my prices are the best out. south of Waterdeep. There we are. So what we back up to ten thousand gold. Crazy. Right, let's try stealing something. Oh we can't steal. Can Emma win? Okay, well, let's just sell the junk at the moment, and we'll try stealing from somewhere else. Hmm, it's a real shame about these halberds, but we're not going to use them in this party, so we may as well sell them. Um, yeah, screw it. Uh, garnet. Protection from undead. We don't need those braces, so we can sell all that as well. Right. What now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Done and done. Maybe there will be an option for stealing in here. I don't think there is. A simple task. Never had rats. No, no sorry, miss. Done and done. Okay. Now, in the meantime, is there anything we need to get back from Beragost? I don't think there is. There's no reason to go back there at the moment. Gonna need to steal something from somewhere. Let's try Beragost. Is there a. There's the Ankeg plate, dude. You could probably steal from him from the Thunder Hammer. Uh, or the Friendly Arm. I'm pretty pretty sure you Dawn can steal from the Friendly Dawn. Arm. Just see, I can't think of another decent way of like dropping reputation. We don't need to drop it much, um, but I'm pretty sure that progressing through the main story will bump our reputation a couple of points. Um, and the problem with, with NPCs when they leave because of reputation is they don't go anywhere that you can get them back, like they just walk out of the game. Um, you must gather your which is kind of a total nightmare. It wouldn't be so bad if she was just like, oh, I'm leaving the party, I'll, My I'll inn see for the friendly army. All who behave themselves. Can you really not steal? I, th I was sure that was something you could do. <laughs> Maybe I'm I need gone. to talk, initiate the conversation with... It's been dreadful Rogue. slow business lately. No? Okay, so I it looks like we can no. injure <laughs> yeah. innocent. Um, rather than a killing simple them. Task. Might be a better way to go. Just so probably find an innocent person. There's one. So we're gonna quick save. What a simple and task! Just attack him.
time, seriously. Okay, screw this. We use a charge. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Hey, there we go. Our rotation's still really high. Dawn and dawn. Maybe we need to be seen to do it. What you want? I've done had enough of this. Yes, dawn and dawn. Still not done anything to our reputation, has it? No. <laughs> but if I if I straight up kill this dude, oh, my heart's really not in this. Then we lose a lot. Um, reputation decreases. Is that that bad? Maybe we should take that. I don't think nine is. Great, but I don't think it's terrible. Screw it, we'll reload for now. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah. And we'll press on. It says if we get caught stealing, we get a <laughs> I've done had I'm enough not of actually sure that we would. Also, I think we'd have to get caught stealing. Hey, she went hostile. Help! Help! But also no reputation adjustment. Yeah, it's a simple task. Hmm. It's a bit of a pickle. Well, let's progress on into Pelvale, at least. Um, and then we can see whether we gain uh, reputation. I have a feeling we will. So, this is Pelvale, this is where we picked up Lyconia. Um, we'll quickly rest. Just now so I that it's daylight, of it's <laughs> yeah. nicer as we're walking around. Where do you know? Go for the ice Go for the ice <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. A simple task. Onwards. And uh, what I'll do is I'll see if I can figure out um, a way of adjusting the reputation for next time. Because, like, re really all I want to do is shave four to six points off it. I don't really want to want to drop below 10. Um, still want to be on the on the positive side. I don't know where you have to be. Um, so in your dream sequences, you gain special abilities, and those special abilities are based on your reputation. Um, and if you have a good overall Try reputation, in the head till he was dead. Try in the head till your abilities are useful. And if you have a bad overall reputation, your abilities are totally shit. Like these bandits were just not here. Try kick him in the head till he's gone. Lil Lil! For sure! Get on you if you save the day. Gem, Lolox drain, arrows. Cool, Dom. Nothing worthwhile. I've lost my thread again, forgotten what I was talking about. <coughs> oh yeah, reputation. So if um yeah, if you're if you're on the poor side oh. reputation wise, your abilities are not very good. I know it's dead now, I'm a big game hunter. Right now I'm hunting bear. So don't get me wrong, don't you know, after dark. 
a simple task. It's just there to tell us the bandits are around and about, which we know because we just killed a bunch of them. It's your choice which hits the ground first, your swords or your heads. Uh, it'll not take us alive. Yes. Everybody start attacking. Dawn For the fallen! Dawn. There we go, hostilities have begun. Hey. Oh, my You can see why these these combats would be difficult. My well, blade like, will cut you down to size. Eight For archers raining fun. arrows down. Like even with the casting of the sleep, here it took half a health damage. And we're over leveled for what we should do. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. What am I? Now that could actually be very useful. So it's a plus one. He's better with warhammers than he is with... Yeah, there we go. We gave him warhammers as a proficiency. Um, so what I'd really like to do now <laughs> is to get this warhammer off of um, Viconia. But she cannot use this um, until we get her the braces of strength, and I think they come from inside Baldur's Gate. Your boy squeaky wheel so gets we will the eventually. Kick. Ryan would be proud of your actions. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. So Imowen leveling up. Longsword, crossbow, shortbow. Oh, I was going to look for a crossbow, wasn't I, for my um, my main character. Um. So find traps or pickpockets, open locks. I think open locks, maxing that out is probably super important. Mm, no, I'm going to go find traps. Actually, I'm not going to go find traps because... Actually, no, I am going to go find traps. Sorry, I'm pretty indecisive on this. But there we go, it's done. Where find traps it is. Um, perhaps this group needs not quite as because much I think thought. find traps um, what it was saying just there is that find traps um, also helps you disarm the traps I'm not sure if that's true I think disarming is based on your thieving pickpocketing skill but just in case we will take uh, find traps and uh, it's not going to hurt us and we can get more points in um, Picking locks later on. Uh, let's carry on clearing out this map. Um, I think we want to go yeah, north and west. So I think we want to go off the uh, this um, east. Sorry, northern east. We want to go off the east side of this map to get to the bandit camp area. Spoiler! Yes. Time for a better use the sleep on the spiders. It's just to like limit the number of attacks they get. Specifically because poison is irritating to deal with. Um, no other reason. <clears throat> and we're going to have to deal with poison a lot. Um, so I will probably end up moving Jahira's spells over to almost entirely slow poison. In terms of her level 2 spells. We're not actually going to travel, we're just going to find it. So, Larswood, and there's a, an area there. A simple task! We'll hit the north of the map as well, in a second. Just to make sure that we can't go directly north out of here. Where to now? Let's talk more about it. Let's 
Devastating. What now? I wonder. So low. My blade will cut you down to size. Oh, for the ice pool. My blade will cut you down to size. It's hard for ice arrows. Arrows are quite heavy. Which is really good. Oh, cool. Yep. So we'll try and rest here. Yes. Cool. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's right. We we're going to hit the north, weren't we? So I'll probably run a little long on this episode, <clears throat> just to finish out this map, because there's not really much point in uh, in ending right here. So we'll just finish exploring this map. For the fallen. The Wraith Spider. <laughs> nice. 1400 experience from that spider. That's pretty good. What now, I wonder? <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Oh, I thought we really have done this. Wild dogs. But really what we're interested in doing is heading north. Just to see if we can go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Which I don't think we can. I think we do need to go Peldvale and these are just huge spiders. Yes. Okay. Like I say, I'm gonna use Go for the eyes! 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 Go the eyes! Go for the eyes! the eyes! the 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 uh, so we can go directly to the bandit camp. So, you have been waylaid by enemies and must be 
way, so now this could be a little tricky. Kaleen needs to deal with this one. Yes. So the rest of you guys do this one. No. No. We're gonna use our own resources. You see the poison damage from the wyverns is ridiculous. To the point where, like these are full wyverns, not not uh, not baby wyverns. Sleepy. Unfortunately. It doesn't actually say. Like, I really wish it gave you a little bit more combat information. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Let's go there. Let's talk more fight. <laughs> Not good. No sorrow That's for those That's a party wipe. Yes. I fear so you can see why we're going to have to poison wipe. The poison damage is insane. So yes, of course. <laughs> let's quickly load. Oh my god. What now? I wonder. So many archers. My blade will cut it down to size! Yes. Oh yeah, I've bullets again. Christ. <laughs> Slap the party into it, I imagine. They'll burn us through a lot of spells, but... I don't need to click it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a queer so fellow. Keep picking up so I, I do keep picking up these um these arrows because actually arrows, having loads of plus one and ice arrows is really nice. Yes, on like, way more important than the 150 gold, whatever they're carrying. Okay, so we've quick saved again. Let's try this travel. <laughs> Okay, so we have finally made it to the bandit camp. What now? I wonder. So I'm going to save there and uh, end the episode, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.